One of the first things you want to do in terms of upgrading your WordPress security is by keeping your software updated. And that includes the WordPress platform and there's an automated update feature here. Themes, if the theme editor has come out with an update and the plugins as well. Let's go ahead and do an update. With the automatic feature, if you click on please update now and you click on update now in about a minute if all is successful you'll see welcome to WordPress and then the latest version so as you can see here by updating the version we have addressed some security issues and bugs as you can see here now I want to be realistic here some of you will update it and you will it'll be perfect you won't have any problems or anything like that but then of course some of you will update it using the update feature and you'll run into a problem sometimes the problem will say failure to update and what it will do is whenever somebody visits your blog they will actually see that error message if they see that error message, then one thing you can do is simply go to your FTP program, log into your site, find the folder that contains your WordPress files, and there will be a file called dot maintenance. Find the file and delete it. And what it will do is it will remove that failure to update error message. If you get that, then you're going to have to do a manual WordPress update. And to be honest, the majority of you, it's probably better if you hire somebody to do it for you. And it really doesn't cost a lot of money to do it. In fact, if you have $5 to spare, you can either use the $5 or spend a longer period of time figuring it out. And I've actually done it, I've tested it out, and I'd say the best way to do this if you run into this problem is by going to Fiverr.com and simply typing in WordPress manual update. And simply finding somebody who can update your WordPress site manually or by going to odesk.com. People that know how to update WordPress manually, it doesn't really take them a long time. So it should be around five to ten dollars, maximum twenty dollars. And I personally use Fiverr and Odesk.com, and I can personally recommend them both. And keep in mind that WordPress comes out with updates frequently, usually a major update every year, and it really to be honest, I'd rather get somebody else to do it on a frequent basis and just pay them. That way you can focus on your business and focus on what you need to do. After you upgrade the platform itself, you will want to go to Appearance and Themes. And if there is an update, you'll actually see a message that says update is available. Now keep in mind though, whenever you do a theme update, and you've already edited the theme. The problem is it can actually revert your theme settings back to the original. So all the customization stuff that you did will actually be reverted. So it's better to talk to the theme editor to see how you can do that without reverting all your customizations. Some of them will tell you, okay, all you have to do is replace certain files and things like that but I would definitely avoid using the automatic update simply because of that problem and most people don't realize that and of course under plugins if you go to install plugins when there is an update you're gonna see a message like this right underneath the plugin that says update now view version details and I would use the same approach with the approach with the theme editor I would contact them and say, hey, how can, how can I update my WordPress plugin 
without any of the settings being reverted back to the point where I have to customize it again, because that would be a pain for you. And another thing, if you get somebody else to do it for you, again, make sure you back up your WordPress database and your site before you do that. Plus, get them to do that as well. And what I would do under users is I would go to all users. I would edit the username and change the password because you don't really want them to know your password. So after they've updated the WordPress site manually, you can go back here and click edit. And of course, go down here and change the password to something else. That way you don't have anybody who knows your password. And if they get mad at you in the future, they're not going to do anything stupid to your blog, like delete it or mess it up. So that way you keep yourself safe and your WordPress blog safe and updated. And there you go.